double up, RomeoTangoBravo.net. <clears throat> How you folks doing? Um, if you haven't watched uh, my first charging handle video, go ahead and watch that. That will be annotated up top. Um, this video really isn't to compare all these together, <clears throat> but actually highlight the middle one here. Uh, it's flanked on either side by ambidextrous charging handles. It itself is an ambidextrous charging handle. Then we have an OEM with a little bit of a modification and uh, another real popular charging handle, which these four <clears throat> are covered in that other video. But this one here, this is the Mech Armor Defense TAC Ops 1. It's a really unique charging handle. As you can see, the, the actual T handle of it it's about twice the size of a standard charging handle. All right. This mech armor defense handle here, the design is very, very simple. Uh, this is all one piece from the standard side latch to this uh, uh, ergonomic latch back here. Okay, and when it's kind of compared up against the these other latches, it may look a little large, but I tell you what, once it's in a weapon, we'll get it inside one here in a second. It actually works. I think it's a lot easier to manipulate, uh, a lot easier to manipulate with gloves. Uh, so if you're you're you know required to wear it, PPE, personal protective equipment, or just protect from weather, and you're wearing gloves, this is this is a fantastic little charging handle. But uh, let's uh, let's get inside a weapon. And we'll go over it. All right, we'll look at a little bit of the operation of the TAC Ops one. So you can use it just like you would any standard charging handle. You're either grabbing it here, extending a little bit more if you need to, but it, it will operate. I'm just grabbing the traditional latch on the side. Very smooth, very tight. Uh, it's a little bit wider in there, so it mates up inside the receiver. You grab it right here. You know, very minimal moving parts. This thing is caveman simple. No reason to over-engineer it like some of the other charging handles. Uh, it, it's CNC machined at a 775T6 aluminum billet. Very, very sturdy. Um, using some standard just aluminum charging handles, they have a tendency, and they, and they do, they do break and bend. Um, this thing is just solid as a rock. I think it's coming in right around 2 ounces. But um, as you can see, very smooth, very simple to operate. You know, no un unneeded pieces in this guy. Um, it is, once again, twice the size, the T-handle here, anyways, is twice the size of a standard handle. But as you can see, once it's in the gun, it's not that big at all. And actually, this is one thing I wanted to highlight, is utilizing some other charging handles, especially from this side, I tend to rack my knuckles a lot on that forward assist. Not so much with this guy. It gets but high enough and wide enough away where I don't even have to worry about my knuckles hitting that guy. This guy really shines as well once you get an optic on this gun, especially a larger optic. It's maybe you know your your eyepiece is sitting back here. This gives you enough room to get up underneath and onto the side and work this guy. So very very intelligent design. So the TAC Ops 1 ambidextrous charging handle for Mech Armor Defense, um, fully machined, CNC machined out of 775T6 aluminum billet. Very sturdy, very strong. Uh, there's no weak points that I can sense in this handle, which you can, you know, you can bend and break a lot of those aluminum handles. Very strong, simple design, which lends itself to reliability. The dimensions inside here are a little bit wider, so they do mesh up with the receiver very nicely, ensuring a nice tight fit. Seven pound spring is running this uh, this system. Locks it up tight, keeps it locked up, especially under suppressed fire. Uh, this roll pin here, that's 40% larger than this competition. 40% larger even than what's used in like the, the BCM gunfighters. Does a couple things, increase the surface area to help relieve a lot of the pressure that goes onto a roll pin. Uh, but what's really neat about this guy, I don't know if we can get her on camera here. Let me get on my flashlight. I don't know if you can see that in there, that little glint of brass. It's a little too bright. 
a little glint of brass in there. Uh, what that is, is that's a little brass uh, rod, a little fitting that runs inside the, the coiled spring. So it runs inside and it does a few things. One, it stabilizes the travel of the spring in this guy, and it's dome, so it acts like a self lubricant. Uh, brass is very has a high lubricity just by itself, so it helps <clears throat> lubricate the mating surfaces of the steel latch for real smooth action. And it actually, what's neat is it fits inside the spring hole to block debris from entering. So when it's just in its static state like this, you know, not depressed, sitting in your gun, you're in a harsh, harsh environment. That spring hole is plugged, so you're not getting a lot of dust, dirt, debris that you might get into a system like this, where all your springs are exposed. Everything is exposed. Okay, jams up, gets all dirty. This is getting kind of loose. Uh, it's starting to bend. It's just aluminum. You know, another design here. This guy opens up nice and wide get all sorts of rocks, dirt, whatever in there. So, I, I, I think the Attack Ops 1 here from Mech Armor is one of the better charging handles on the market. Uh, and there's a lot of professionals that, that tend to agree. Uh, back in 2010, uh, the Colt, Colt Defense Laboratories uh, got a sample of this guy right here and tested it. I uh, went through all their live fire tests, went through the whole battery that they put everything um, you know, everything through. This passed all tests. This this passed everything that Colt Defense could throw at it. Uh, I think you're gonna start seeing this this little TAC Ops 1 everywhere. It's available in 762 and 556 and if you mention uh, RomeoTangoBravo.net they'll actually donate uh, donate some money to the Wounded Warrior Project. If you head on over to their site find that link below here in the description. Just a fantastic charging handle. I, I have nothing good to, but I have nothing but good things to say about this.